kings, queens, achieve. What we've achieved kings. within the space of sort of the last it's two years. Crazy, isn't it? Our aim is to facilitate change. We are People Them Collective. We are a black and brown led organisation based down here in Margate. We facilitate systemic change, promote healing and continue the work of our ancestors. People Them Collective was born out of a shared lived experience and a lack of space and inclusion for our community. We've both separately been here for about 15 years. We've both worked in big organisations here in Margate separately. I was sick to death of hearing stories of my friends and colleagues of black and brown people in Margate that they were being just abused in the workplace. And I knew, because it was my lived experience too. So I invited a few of these friends around my house and said, hi guys, listen, you're all sick of it, I'm all sick of it, let's do something about it that fits us, elevates and celebrates us. But how can we actually make changes within yeah. our community? We used to meet every Sunday around my house, we used to cook. We had the big whiteboard out and paper and pens and we was just organically growing. That's how People Them Collective was born. And that was, it's really important to say that that was nine months, about nine months before the murder of George Floyd. In those nine months, we were all healing. We'd not, never would have this platform, this space to do that before. Waking up and you know, being like, oh yeah, actually, I've been really, just had really thick skin for such a long time, <laughs> you know. Those nine months prepared us for the immense work that was going to be needed to get us to where we are now. Yeah. After the murder of George Floyd, we knew we had to put on a protest here in Margate, in our socially conscious town. We were completely shocked. You started to see that it was a never-ending line of people walking down that hill and it turned out to be 4,000 people and was completely blown away. And it, for us, it just felt like the town showed up. Margay, look behind you! Look behind you! We've got, you know, a rich culture here of black and brown people that we need to share, that we need to elevate and inspire and uplift and uprise and make connections with. We live here, that's why we're doing it in Margate, you know? We took a very like proactive approach and like after the marches we approached local organisations and were like hey hang on like there's a lot more work that has to happen uh, in order for this to, like, for real change to happen in the community and not to kind of hurry your response. So we reached out to, like, Dreamland, Turner Contemporary, small organisations. We knew that the, the best approach is that go to your local black and brown-led organisation. They're going to be the ones that are best placed because we've got the lived experience. Vicky and Kelly reached out to us and asked to meet. We came up with the idea of presenting an exhibition based on the protest marches that the people them had organised around the Black Lives Matter movement. So the exhibition featured a film of those marches, a hundred protest banners, and a list of the names of people who have been killed by police brutality in the UK. We did have visitors from across the UK and locally. It was very powerful. It felt like it tapped into a zeitgeist of the moment. Visitors responded really positively and were very moved by it. So to cite a cultural centre here is groundbreaking, actually. It's the perfect place to have those conversations about Britain today and where we are, and culture and the culture around those conversations. Living in this place, what's very apparent when you're a person of colour, um, is there isn't many people that represent you. Whether it's dealing with police for maybe bothering you for looking a certain way and being a youth just going about doing your thing, or whether it's you're in a pub just trying to socialise with your friends and someone wants to start some trouble with you because you stand out. It was very difficult to find that identity to my true self before I got to connect with people down. I went to the march that they set up, that the people down set up, uh, and as soon as I got there, as soon as I got there, they recognised me, acknowledged me, called me over, and I just felt welcome. I just felt that sense of just 
tribe of just that good feeling of belonging that I'd been looking for and I didn't even realise I was looking for it. That feeling was amazing, to just feel part of something. And for them to come along to my march that I'd organised and actually mentor me and help me, that went on to then inspire me to want to do everything in like a more professional manner. Because I was like, okay, so I am actually capable of this. <laughs> Have you seen his hair? No. He braided his hair. Oh, no way. Oh, yeah. But yesterday I took it out. Me, yesterday man. I took it out. And because I took it out, it went really big. And on the way to school, this little boy Ed was like, Your hair! Ha ha ha! And he was like, oh. he was crying. And I was like, Don't oh, let everybody no. laugh at your hair. It's like, Your hair's beautiful. Just so they don't know change. Like, because it's big. And theirs is all like straight in the barber's chop, 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 chop. I'm like, Don't let anyone laugh at your hair. But that's what that's dangerous though, isn't it? Yeah, what dangerous about it's yeah. like, it's like it banter, it's banter, yeah. you know. Because that's so what they used to do to Josh all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And it was only until he left school that he was like, I'm never going back there and I don't want to hang out with those people because yeah. it could be disguised. It's like, it's just a joke. No, this happened, this thing grew that we knew we wanted a space to celebrate us, to celebrate our history, also to find out about our history, to, to celebrate our excellence, to celebrate what we were doing here because, as I said before, in this, in our experience in this community is being erased and deleted. Our mission as an organisation is to facilitate and provoke systemic change. This manifests in our day-to-day -day work through education, workshops, events, and simple things like holding a space for the community to come together and celebrate. Mentorship is also key, creating opportunities and experiences for young black and brown people to explore and achieve their dreams. Me and my people are not giving in until we're treated as equals in our different skin. We have a huge audience that come into Dreamland, whether it's for the music or the rides or whatever it might be, but we also have still, you know, such a big audience right here on our doorstep. Yes, and I think, absolutely. you know, if we can help help you guys with the space and the, the opportunity to get as many of those people through your doors as possible, then that's... And it's great that commercial businesses are understanding that now. You have to be open-minded in the first place to say, OK, let me have a look what People Them Collective are doing. It works with the ethos, it works with what you're doing. And also, they can do things that we can't as a commercial organisation. In a really short period of time, re really, relatively speaking, yeah. you know, um, it's, it's grown so much. And now you guys have got your offices on the seafront with us and obviously, we're going to get moving with getting you, you know, this cultural centre set up, yeah. which is yeah. so important. We are working towards securing the most amazing Art Deco 1930s four-storey building on the seafront. Like it was built for us, isn't it? Great sea views, everyone's welcome all day. Top floor, like, that's where we're going to be, you know, talking about Black British history. That's where we're going to be talking about these big ideas of how we change these systems. That's when we're going to be working with young people so yeah. that we can really make fundamental change to the UK. Yeah, I mean, I get goosebumps, like, thinking about people planning their day in yeah. Margate. From the marches you've done on your own, and we was like, your aunties supporting that <laughs> but now for you from watching this from all the things that whoa that's what happens at the from all the things that you've been doing and now you're here yeah. teaching your you got you know getting momentum on your own school i've been wanting to do this since i was a teenager and i guess imposter syndrome stopped me and then i had a moment of realization and i was just like what am i doing not stopping yeah. i need to, well, there's nothing stopping me i need to start now so then I can build the momentum and build the business yeah. and be able to give back to the community as well. Because you gave me the confidence to believe in myself on these journeys that I've taken. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think that's had a massive impact. So I think that, like, for us, it feeds our motivation to know that we can have an impact on the community. Yeah. And even though you're going off and doing your own thing, yeah. it just makes it all <laughs> worth yeah, it. Because you're like, yes, this is what it's about. about we know, yeah, we know this is, that it works. Yeah. So there's nothing stopping us. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Fundamentally, we're here through protest. We're here through change. We're here for trying to make a change to a system that does not work for the black and brown community. And so we've got to make sure that we're implementing and being part of that change. Yeah. And that means that our building is doing exactly that. Come to Margate and experience the, the healing powers that it has. This is a movement that is necessary for Kent, the UK, and I'm going to be the, the planet. The, the planet. We want change. Not everybody wants change, but we've got to do a little bit of work to get the change. Have the conversations, it's all right. Like, you're allowed to have challenging conversations. We're adults, we're allowed to disagree and agree. You're allowed to be open to learn. Be open to learn. 
buckle up. Let's go.